Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's boy Kim Mo. welcome back to another video and as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, we are back with another custom tactics. Now, our last custom tactics video did really, really well and I'm not posting these to get views. I generally use more than one uh, custom tactics when I play champs and obviously guys, um, we got 20 or no um, for, you know, two weeks in a row. So, um, yeah, so we got we got 20 or no and I, I've been showing off my old my other tactics but obviously I've got another tactic if you guys have been watching my streams um, you guys probably would have seen that I do change to this formation as well if I am struggling in the game but anyway guys we are going to be showing off the tactics but before we get into that please do leave a like and subscribe if you are new we are only a couple subscribers away from 2.7k and we're actually so close to 3000 overall so hopefully you guys can stick around hopefully you guys do join me with this grind to 3000 subscribers and uh, yeah we're going to go straight into it so this is the current team at the moment. Ignore Benzema. He's just here for a trial run because I might buy his team of the year. But anyway, guys, nonetheless, we are here with the 4 3 2 1 tactics. Now, if you guys, like I said, if you guys have been seeing my streams, you guys would have probably seen that I've been changing to these uh, tactics a couple times, um, you know, just to try and take control of the game. So we've got defensive style on balance as for every single formation. We have width on 50. I just leave it on balance to be honest because we are quite a narrow formation. Uh, you don't really want to have too wide um, of a width when you're defending, especially. And then depth, we have 72 uh, depth. This does the automatic offside trap, guys. So if you guys are very good manual defenders, then this will benefit you a lot. Then we have build up play on balance. Of course, we always want balance. We want to we want to switch up the way we play. And chance creation is always always on direct passing, guys. No matter what. Like I said in my last video. Every single formation that you use in FIFA 23 should have direct passing chance creation. Uh, width 48, obviously like I said, we are a pretty narrow formation. We don't want to have anything too wide. Uh, so 4 3 2 one definitely use 48 width. Plays in box 6, obviously your whole front 3 is going to be getting into the box. And obviously some of your midfielders will be getting to the box as well. So make sure you guys have plays in box on 6. 2 corners and 2 free kicks. I just have this because I don't really like getting hit on counter attacks. Um, you know on my corners and free kick so I just keep it how it is and uh, yeah let's go straight into the instructions so this is how my team is laid out before we get into it I normally have uh, an attacker in center mid so this in this case we have Di Natale a lot of times I did use Mbappe as a center mid uh, but yeah I have like a you know quite like physical center mids uh, as you guys can see I have Pogba and Hullet as well very very good engine uh, players and uh, yeah, make sure you guys run a right forward with, that's right footed and a left forward who's left foot. Obviously, if you don't have that, then just play the one with the best weak foot on the left and the one with the strong foot on the right or vice versa. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if you guys have a left footed attacker, make sure he's on the left side. And if he's a right footed attacker, make sure he's on the right side. Just to, you know, across goal shots are very OP in this game. Um, so make sure you guys are doing that. Now, into the instructions we go. Now, we need to concentrate here because there are a couple things that we need to talk about. Uh, this formation does defend in a 4-4-2, guys. Um, like I said, this is a 4-3-2-1, but it does defend in a 4-4-2. This is very, very common amongst, obviously, like pro players and whatnot. They have these type of formations. So, one side of our fullback. So, in this case, we have stay back while attacking and overlap on Cafu, or our right back. Um, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, he does push up, but obviously, at the same time, uh, some situations he does just come back obviously if I just have overlap by itself he will be rushing forward constantly um, but if I have stay back while attacking he will choose when to go forward which is interesting but yeah stay back while attacking and overlap on my right back and the left back we have just balanced with overlap so our left back is going to be very very attacking if you guys have players like uh, team of the year for Hernandez, Captain Villa, uh, maybe even Cancelo, honorable mentions and stuff like that you know, those type of players are very, very good. So make sure you put in a left back who's able to dribble on the ball. Uh, but yeah, overlap is definitely what you want to have on your left back. And obviously both your center backs on default. Your middle center mid guys, you want to make sure he has stay back while attacking and cover center. This is going to act as your DM. Um, in this case, I have Paul Pogba. Obviously, he's a very, very good center mid and DM in this game. So uh, that's why I like to have him. Obviously, try and get as like physical like midfielders as you can get. You know what I mean? Like try and get as many physical midfielders because this year for some reason physical midfielders are just very very overpowered so stay back while, stay back while attacking and cover center on your middle one your right center mid guys you want to make sure you just leave it on balance apart from get into the box for cross okay everything else on balance even the defensive position position keeper on default cover wing okay 
get into box for cross is what you need on this right center mid and your left center mid is stay back while tucking cover center and obviously in this case Hullet has a high attacking work rate so he's still going to be offering some you know attacking ai but nonetheless he will be you know pretty you know he will be staying back a little bit um like i said guys this formation does defend in a 4-4-2 okay so in this case when Di Natale has cover wing, in this case, it means that he will be being pushed out wide and Pogba and Hullet will be the main centre mids. So like I said, Di Natale will be pushed out wide when we're defending and then Jarzinho, as you guys can see, stay central, get him behind, come back on defence. Um, on the right forward, make sure you guys have that. The left forward is just balanced with come back on defence um, and the striker is going to be on stay central. And for me, I like stay forward, but obviously people you know, want to try just normal balance. Um, but yeah, definitely have stay central. So guys, as you guys can see, we have stay central on our right forward. We have stay central on our striker. So these two act as the strikers when we're defending. Di Natale has cover wing, so he gets pushed out to the right mid. And Mbappe obviously just has come back on defense, so he'll stay remaining on the left side. So we'll be defending in a 4-4-2, but like I said, this is still a 4-3-2-1 custom tactics video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Please do leave a like, comment down below. And like I said, guys, we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers. Please tell all your friends, if you guys have friends that play FIFA, let them know about these videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.